Hi there, it's me, Daniela from Lungmaster Learning System. Today I'm going to share with you a story about Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And before we get started, please make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Once upon a time, in a far, far away kingdom, there was a child. Her name was Snow White. Her skin was as white as snow. Her lips were as red as blood. And her hair was as black as the wood in the forest. Her beauty brought her some troubles. In the kingdom, there was a queen. She was proud and arrogant. She could not bear if there was someone more beautiful than her. The queen had a magic mirror which could never tell a lie. She stood in front of it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who in this land is fairest of all? And the answer she received was, You, my queen, are fairest of all. All. The queen was very satisfied. However, years passed. When Snow White grew up, she became even more beautiful. This time, the queen, once again, stood in front of the mirror, asking the same question. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who in this land is fairest of all? Unfortunately, the answer was different. The magic mirror said, You, my queen, are fair, it is true, but Snow White is a thousand times fairer than you. From then on, this answer gave her no peace day and night. Her heart was full of hatred for Snow White. Her envy grew greater and greater every day until one morning she couldn't stand it. She ordered a huntsman to kill Snow White and bring back her heart. The huntsman obeyed. He took Snow White into the forest. However, looking at her innocent face, the huntsman could not make the move. He felt pity for her and decided to spare her life. Snow White immediately ran into the forest and promised him she would never return. The huntsman killed a young bear and took its heart back to the queen as proof for the death of Snow White. Meanwhile, Snow White ran off without turning her head once. Then, luckily, she saw a small house in the middle of the forest. 
The house was covered with dust. So, Snow White decided to help the house owner clean it up. After a while, she finished it. Snow White was very hungry and thirsty. Then, she allowed herself to take some vegetables and fruits to fill her stomach. She gradually felt drowsy. She came to the bedroom. When she opened the door, she saw seven beds in different sizes. Snow White chose a bed and lay down. She then fell asleep. When the moon came, the owners of the house came back. They were the seven dwarves. Each dwarf found out that someone had used their stuff. When they went upstairs, they saw a girl lying in their bed. She was so beautiful, they didn't want to wake her up. When the sun rose the day after, Snow White saw seven dwarves. She was frightened at first, but then she immediately introduced herself to them. Snow White also shared with them how she got there. Poor girl, one of the seven dwarves said. You can stay with us. Snow White was very happy. She would keep their house clean, cook meals, wash their dishes, sew their clothes. Then they lived with each other harmoniously. However, the queen was still disturbed by her envy. She asked the mirror once again, and it said Snow White was still alive. The queen made a plan to take her life again. This time, she turned herself into an old and poor lady, showed up in front of the dwarf's house. Naive Snow White opened the door. She saw the old lady and received a red apple. She liked it so much, so she bit it. After one bite, Snow White immediately fell on the floor. The apple was poisoned. The queen was very satisfied and she came back to her castle. When the dwarves came home, they found Snow White lying on the floor. She wasn't breathing at all. They tried their best to take her from the hand of death, but nothing worked. The dwarves broke down into tears. Sadness covered the whole forest. The animals mourned for Snow White. They placed her in a coffin inside the deep forest. Snow White was dead, but she did not decay. She looked like a living person who was sleeping. Suddenly, a prince appeared. He got into the forest and it seemed like he was lost. He then came to the house 
of the seven dwarves. And he also saw the coffin and a very beautiful girl within it. The prince wanted to take her to his castle. He said to the dwarves that he could not live without seeing Snow White. As he said so, the dwarves felt pity for him and they agreed. The prince required his servants to carry the coffin on their shoulders. However, the ground was quite rough, so the servants stumbled on the bush. This shook the coffin, and the piece of poisoned apple fell from Snow White's mouth. Snow White then woke up. Where am I? The prince was very surprised. You are with me. He told her everything and said that he loved her at first sight. Then they came to the prince's castle and decided to get married. When the evil queen heard about this, she was so frightened. On their wedding day, she still came and saw Snow White. She was even more beautiful than before. Then the truth was revealed. The queen received her punishment, and Snow White and the prince lived happily ever after. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. You guys can find more useful videos for beginners at our YouTube channel. And at Langmaster, we have English courses for beginners. If you want to know more information, please leave us your email address or phone number in the comment box below. See you next time. Goodbye.